I'm Stephen Hardy, Editorial Director of LightWave. With bandwidth demand showing no sign of slowing down, researchers are investigating a variety of optical technologies to keep pace. These research areas include such novel forms of optical fiber as hollow core fiber, or HCF. One company working hard in this area is OFS. I'm here with Daryl Innes, Director of New Business Development at the company, and Brian Mangan, member of technical staff, to discuss OFS's latest development, AccuCore HCF cable. Daryl, just what is hollow core fiber? Uh, hollow core fiber is a, a technology that allows or enables us to uh, transmit light uh, in air as opposed to transmitting light uh, in a solid uh, glass core fiber. So we have many of the advantages that's offered by a standard or solid core fiber uh, with the added benefit of improved latency performance, uh, roughly 1.5 microseconds uh, per kilometer when we transmit light uh, in air as opposed to transmitting it in a solid core fiber. And with that as background, what can you tell us about AccuCore? Yes, so the AccuCore uh, HCF or holocore fiber, it's a fiber optic uh, cable. It consists of two to four holocore fibers uh, that's in a cable form. Uh, these cables are uh, terminated both in the factory or in uh, the field with a uh, standard uh, LC or SC connectors. So it offers a customer very much an ease of use uh, for this added latency performance uh, because uh, they can plug uh, this cable directly into existing uh, equipment and recognize, realize the benefits of the low latency performance. So let's bring you into this discussion, Brian. If hollow core fiber is so beneficial, why haven't we seen it come to market previously in such cabled form? So this is what we presented recently in our post Atlanta paper at OFC. And so we have an aim to transmit um, data through the fiber with um, error-free performance. And in our paper, we define bit error-free as um, less than one bit in 10 to the 15 bits that have been transmitted. And so to do this, um, we need low polarization maintained dispersion uh, and low multipath interference. And so our holocore fiber is designed to be single mode. Uh, we've designed to reduce the effects from things like multipath interference. Um, this is a patented technology that we have that can strip higher order modes out of the fiber in less than half a meter. Um, on the other hand, we also have a very highly structured fiber, so we have to be careful about things like differential group delay. Um, the highly asymmetric structure can give a very small but significant um, bar infringements in the fiber. And we've seen that there's a real challenge in translating measurements done on a small fiber to measurements done in a holocore fiber cable. So when we take a measurement on a one to two kilometer length of holocore fiber on a spool, we see a DGD measurement of about one to two picoseconds. But when we put this into a cable, that can be as high as 80 picoseconds. And that's because our cable is designed to be a benign environment. So all the perturbations that exist on a spool, um, when the fibers are wound on top of each other, they act to mitigate for any unintentional biorefringents in the fiber. When the cable, this becomes apparent. So we see this biorefringence come to light. Um, so that was one of the challenges we had to face. We didn't see that before we cabled the fibers. And so we went back to the drawing board and we took technology that we have in house to spin the fibers while they're being fabricated. So all our fibers now and our cables are spun. And then when we take this fiber and put it into a cable, the PMD is still around two to three picoseconds. Um, at least in the one kilometer measurement, um, we're very similar in, in our, in our, in our 3.1 kilometer that we presented in the paper. So in, in this paper, we, we showed that we have error-free transmission through the 3.1 kilometer holocore fiber cable link. And this was demonstrated over 33 channels. And putting all this technology together, what we're trying to demonstrate is that 
um, we can have an end-to-end -end solution. So we can put on spice on connectors. We put this in our paper. Uh, we can have low-loss connectors in fiber. They can be LC or SC. And we have put this um, fiber in several locations already for our indoor and outdoor commercial environments. And we're trying to put together a solution, or we have put together a solution, where this fiber can just be plugged into a, an existing 10G transceiver, transceiver system. So customers can take this fiber cable, they can plug it in, and it will behave in a very similar way to any other type of fiber, but with the low latency, the 1.5 microseconds per kilometer improvement in the link. And how does installation and handling of the fiber compare to that of conventional fiber? So we've been working closely with our professional services team. And so the Holocore fiber can have a low loss connector uh, spliced onto it. So it's all intents and purposes when a customer receives our cable, it looks very similar to any other commercial cable they will have with any other fiber type. And so we have taken this cable to uh, customer locations. It's been installed at several sites already, both indoor and outdoor, and we can take our cable and plug it into any receiver and it behaves in, in, in the same way as you'd expect any other fiber. So we don't see any significant um, difference in installation with a holocore fiber compared to any other standard single mic fiber. Finally, back to you, Daryl. What can we expect in the future for holocore fiber in transmission applications? Well, in transmission applications, uh, we're currently uh, at the point where we can demonstrate uh, latency improvements on the order of uh, 10 nanoseconds to uh, 3,000 nanoseconds. So these are link lengths that are relatively short, meaning perhaps you can get up to a couple of kilometers uh, in a real-world uh, deployment scenario. What we would like to do, the, the hero, uh, is to demonstrate that you can go tens of kilometers out to, say, uh, 100 kilometers, that type of order. So... The Pulse deadline paper uh, that Brian referenced showing the 3.1 kilometer uh, uh, transmission with uh, 33 channels at 10 gigabits per second, we'd like to push that to longer distances. And so that means developing things like low latency amplifiers and also learning about the different transmission impairments that could limit the distance of this fiber. But that's the focus now with the research team, and we expect that we will bring to market longer link lengths of this fiber in the future. Thank you, Daryl and Brian. Holocore fiber has been the subject of research and discussion at conferences such as OFC for a number of years. But now, thanks to advances in manufacturing and cableization, the benefits of such novel fibers are finally within reach. For Lightwave, I'm Stephen Hardy. <laughs>